So we spent about five days in Charleston, South Carolina, and we had a lot of fun. Now it's time to leave because we're gonna head to Georgia because a client called us to build them a custom bench. So we're gonna drive to their house and build them a custom bench for their camper van. So let's go. We're pretty low on fuel, so we're gonna pull over and get some gas and then get back on the road. All right, so we finally made it to Atlanta, Georgia. Now we're gonna try to find a place to park and then uh, call it a night because we're gonna wake up tomorrow at around 7.30 in the morning to go meet up with a client to uh, start to build a bench for her camper van. 7.30 in the morning, we're gonna get up and uh, get dressed, have some coffee, and then head over to the client's house to uh, see this van. So we're on the way to the client's house and uh, it's 29 degrees outside, so it's super cold. We're totally not used to this type of temperature, but the weather says that the temperature is gonna go up to 56 degrees later on today. So hopefully it warms up. All right, so we're here. We just gotta put in a little gate code and then uh, drive over to the house. So we're here. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the customer because uh, she asked to not be on film. So I'm gonna respect that. So I'll come back and talk to you guys in a few minutes uh, once I finish talking to the customer. All right, so we're here at the client's house and this is the current bench they have on here now. So we're gonna remove this and we're gonna make a different type of bench. It's gonna have a toilet here and then this side is gonna extend out to make a small bed. So now we're gonna go ahead and head over to Home Depot. We're gonna rent the truck because we can't haul wood inside of our van and we're gonna buy some plywood and a couple other things so we can build these benches. So let's go. What you said. First stop, Sherwin-Williams. We're gonna get some paint. We got the paint, now we're going to Home Depot. Well, we spent about two hours at Home Depot getting all this stuff and getting a rental. I hate shopping at Home Depot because it takes so long to do things sometimes, but it is what it is. So now we're gonna load it up and then head to the customer's house. a rough experience trying to rent this damn truck. We're finally rolling. Took about 45 minutes just to rent this. We just dropped off all the stuff. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring the rental back and then come back with our van and get going on the bench. So we're back at the van. Now we're gonna go ahead and strip out this old bench. There is a heater inside of here. So we're gonna try to make the new bench around this heater to make sure that she can have the proper heat because right now the vent is going into that cabinet so she's not able to use her heat. So we're gonna try to route it so she can use it now. So let's go.
while I cut all the pieces, Hope is edge banding all the edges of the plywood. So basically, exposed plywood looks like this, and once it's edge banded, it ends up looking like this. And it just gives it a really nice finish. piece of wood decided to come live in my body. Shake it off. It took us about four hours to build it. We're still not completely finished. We need to screw it in still, and we still need to paint it, but it looks really good. So basically this part will pop up and you'll be able to just sit down and do your business. And then you can also open it the entire way. Um, and then it's not screwed into the floor yet, by the way. And then right here, this part will open. So you can put toilet paper and things like that inside of it. And then tomorrow we're gonna build the rest of the bench that we'll pull out. All right, so it's 8.30 in the morning. We're en route to the customer's house and we're gonna try to finish up these benches today because it's cold here and we wanna head to Mexico where it's nice and warm. And yeah, we want tacos.
All right, guys, so we finally finished the second part of the bench. This thing took us about 13 hours to build. Uh, it takes a long time to build because it's a tri-folding bench and it also opens up. So I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So what you do is you pull it out. Then you extend this out. And then this flaps over and it turns into a bed for a child. Um, it's exactly four foot seven inches while it, when it's full, fully extended. Um, then when you're done using it, you just close it. And the best part is that it also opens up and works as storage so you can keep stuff inside of it. So if you guys remember in the beginning of the video, there's a heater inside of the bench. So we're going to go ahead and connect that. So we finally finished installing the bench. It took us three full days to do it. It was a lot of hours, but we're super happy at the way it turned out. So let me show you how it works. So starting off with the bench, we installed some storage on the side. It's really big, deep storage. You can put cleaning supplies and toilet paper and stuff inside of it. Then on this side, we installed a urine diverting toilet and it does open up all the way uh, so you can empty everything out. And then this part right here lets you know when your uh, urine tank is full. We also installed more storage right here where you can put laptops and other cleaning supplies inside of. And we also installed the, uh, the mount for the Lagoon tabletop and an exhaust for the heater that she didn't have before. And then the star of the show is this nice uh, tri-folding bench that opens up so you can store stuff inside of it. It does have a heater inside of it. And then it also uh, extends out into a bed. So let me show you how that works. You just literally pull this out like this extend this out and you have a place for a child uh, to sleep on it, it just needs cushions then you literally close it same way and that is the bench that we uh, made for this customer I hope she's happy with it if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to reach out our email is beerunbus at gmail.com and don't forget to click that subscribe button but I'll see you later peace